welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a, another mod review, or another couple of mod reviews. So anyway, today we'll be going over the more deadly slash intense fire, rotating animatics on the screen, and janitors on community lots. So we have uh, gone ahead and gotten a washer and dryer, since the fastest way to create a fire is essentially to move this stuff to the dryer and never clean your lint trap. So his sister has uh, done some, she's a... Uh, created some dirty laundry. We're going to go ahead and have him start the washer, or start the dryer. It shouldn't end up causing a fire now, but essentially we're going to go over what a fire is like in The Sims originally. Why can y'all not... No, stop it. There we go. Maybe that, that, maybe that was a problem. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll just have her do it. Add to that to the washing machine, please. Alrighty, so we're just waiting for the clothes to finish. Let's go ahead and have him wash that load of laundry. Eventually it'll finish. Eventually. Oh, he's earned 273 days off. Alright, let's go ahead and unload and put the laundry away. And then, as soon as this is done, how about we go have him create some more laundry? Why don't you go take a shower? You didn't generate any laundry. Fool, go practice your punching. Because I know that generated some laundry. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and move this laundry to the dryer. Essentially, we're going to try anything to just get a fire to happen on the lawn. Uh, let's go ahead and have him move this. Oh, what do you mean no available washing machine? Reset it. Okay, can we... Add that to the washing machine now. All right, so now he's gonna do a second little. That's nice, Vlad. Go away. Uh, wash the laundry there. Hopefully, we can actually create a fire on this lot pretty quickly because this is gonna get kind of old, really fast. So anyway, so this mod states for the more deadly slash intense fire um, that you can now have mods or you can now have fires on any lots that that's what this mod does um the default is a fire will attempt to spread every 30 sim minutes uh well the initial fire spread will attempt after 30 minutes it will then attempt to spread every 13 minutes thereafter time needed to extinguish a single tile of fire is 100 percent of whatever it takes i'm not sure how long it actually takes um the fire decay rate is 100 percent Time needed to burn a sim on fire to death, which I am not going to be burning any sims to death. Although maybe that would probably make it. That would probably be pretty cool. Anyway, so I downloaded Flavor 1. Um, so the initial fire spread attempt will be made after 10 minutes. And then after that, it will be every 5 minutes. The time needed to extinguish it will be 125%. So instead of just being 100%, now it's 125 So it's an additional 25% harder to distinguish a single... Um, rate of fire. The fire won't decay as quickly, so it'll be at 50% now. It only takes 50% of that time to burn a sim to death. So, I mean, we may end up doing it anyway, but we will see. Uh, unload and put laundry away, please. You can be happy. You have a bunch of clean clothes. What? No. Stop it. Uh, unload and add to the dryer. Yeah. See, we haven't cleaned the lint tray. So let's go ahead and dry some more laundry. Hopefully this will uh, generate a fire. Oh, he's got some more clothes here. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's add that to the washing machine, please. Bro, y'all killing me. How on earth is this so freaking hard to set their house on fire now? Like, this has never been this hard. Okay, could you please add it to the washing machine? Thank you. And wash the laundry. Why is she... Oh, because she's sore, because she worked out, and then uh, she's just hungry. Yeah, that's nice. Can we hurry up and set this house on fire? Oh, Todd re has reached level 2 of the comedy skill. Not that it really matters. Alright, add that to the dryer. And dry the laundry. Again, without cleaning the lint tray. How long could this possibly take? That's all I want to know. Oh good, there's laundry in there. So let's go ahead and have 
this is like the longest it's ever taken to set a house on fire in The Sims. It makes me wonder if they changed like how easy it is to spread a fire. I guess I'll just come back to you guys uh, when we finally set something on fire. Oh my god, it finally, finally, it decided to start it after she had already emptied it. So I was like, alright, you know, whatever. But, we have, in fact, gained fire. It is now 10 at 38, like, this happened literally like two sim minutes ago. It was as fast as I could deposit. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh... oh good, she's not on fire anymore, I guess that's a good thing. Why don't you exit? Go here. Just get out, man! Oh my god, she actually is on fire! Oh my god. Oh my god. I apologize if that is annoying because that is super loud. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off the audio for you guys real quick. Just so y'all don't have to hear the stupid fire alarm going off. But it is continuing to go off. Let's see. 10.38 was when she was on fire. So. This fire also has not spread any further from where it actually is. Alright, I think we have finally gotten a second. Yeah, the, the actual spot the dryer is on is currently on fire. That took about 50 minutes. It took about an hour to kill her. I think it probably was actually an exact hour. So this made two attempts to light itself on fire. This is now, like, just ruining items around it. And he's just, you know, letting it happen. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we've seen enough. You can. We, it's now taken an hour for us to kill a sim, and then on top of that... It takes a while for the fire to actually go. Um, oh, great. He's here. Fantastic. Um, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Uh, why don't you come in here and extinguish the flames, though? Quit panicking. Alright, there we go. So the fire is out. She will sorely be missed, uh, but let me tell you something, she will be right back. This will be like Groundhog Day for them. Uh, go ahead and clean the floor. So we're going to go ahead and also go to a lot. Oh, you cannot do this while the Sim is dying. There, she did now. Can we go now? Yes, I know you're sad. Okay, you'll see her again in like five minutes. It just wasn't supposed to take this long in order to get her to light something on fire. We're going to go ahead and go to this lot. Um, I forgot to actually put a whole bunch of stuff on there, <laughs> but that's okay. This won't take very long. So if you've ever noticed that you, your Sims generally won't cause, you won't to get, um, fires on community lots. And then on top of that, you also don't get janitors on community lots either. So we're going to put a whole bunch of stuff here that's going to break. Looks beautiful. All right, let's see how we can break these real quick. Let's go to live mode. Make it dirty. Please don't tell me you're going to clean it. Oh, he's going to wash his hands. Okay, well, if you see here that nobody is going to end up coming, um, we can sabotage the tree. And I've heard that also causes the tree to be lit on fire. Um, turn on this light. And it's... Is it lit? Where did he go? Is he going home? I mean, if he's going home, that's kind of a problem. I don't understand why he would go home. Um, no. Oh, because he had to go to work! God dang it! God dang it. I'll see you guys when he gets back from work. Alright, he's back from work, so we're going to go back to the lot, and we're going to see if we can, if our sabotage tree, I doubt it will actually light on fire, 
because it's designed that it won't light on fire. It's designed that you cannot start a fire on community lots. So, let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, oh, they're all clean now. We're just going to make everything dirty. We sabotaged this tree, so why don't we go ahead and, oh, it already has lights on it. Why don't you turn on this room? Power has been shut off, pay your bills. This is a... This is a community lot! We don't have any bills! <laughs> I think it's just because it is a community lot, so you can't actually, um... Can't actually light anything on fire here. So I'm gonna go ahead, close down the game, and then we will also show you the rotating animatics on the screen, and then we will also, um, show you what it's like to have more intense deadly fire and also be able to have janitors show up at the lot. I will see you guys then. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have mods installed. So this is the animating uh, rotating screen. So I ended up taking a look and according to the mod, it is all, um, each thing will be, each screen will be 12 seconds long approximately. And it is updated for Get Famous. I'm not sure if it's going to do for ones that you don't have. It shouldn't, but this way you can just have a rotating screen of what you actually have. Um, personally, it doesn't really bother me either way. But um, as one of the comments was made that, you know, maybe you're looking at your loading screen too long. But at the same time, I also can understand it. I know sometimes I have just left the game running here. Because um, I'm like, oh crap, I need to go do something real quick. So I get up, go do that thing, and then I come back to it. And then, so seeing a changing screen is kind of nice because, especially if you did not come to The Sims when it first came out, you may not necessarily know all the different pictures there are. I'm actually learning which ones we actually have. Like, I never saw this one from Parenthood, I never saw the Get to Work one, I never saw Get Together, I never saw City Living. I came to this platform. I came to The Sims after Cats and Dogs came out. So I didn't get to see the Vampire one, Dine Out, Spa Day, or Outdoor Retreat. So this is very nice. It's very new to me. So I think it's kind of, it's it's a nice um, a change of scenery. Especially if you haven't, if you haven't ever seen them all. So, but let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and hop back into our game. Because um, we have a couple other mods that we're also testing here. Um, we're going to be traveling with the Parsons. Oh my god, I just realized I saved my game. Oh my god, I'm a horrible person. She's gone forever. No, I'll just re-download them from the gallery. Uh, they are available on the gallery, just in case you were curious. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, see how this works here. What do you mean the power has been shut off? Ugh. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and have him work out, because this is this mod is also designed to um, make it so this way... Um, yeah, I don't know if you can actually do laundry off the lot. Yeah, it just keeps saying the power has been shut off, pay your bills. But the thing is, this wasn't our place to pay bills anyway. Um... I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out because I'm not really quite sure um, how this all works. Um, I guess we'll just have to find out. Uh, let's go ahead and just have him head home then. Um, I think we'll just buy a Christmas tree and sabotage it in our own backyard to try and let it on fire. That might be just the easiest option available to us at the moment. I've heard that sabotaging the tree is pretty freaking quick. So, in comparison to the dryer, that took us forever. So let's go ahead and um, get a Christmas tree out here. A twee. Right. Oh, no, that, not that one. This one. But I need this one. Nope. I don't mean to open the gallery. Not at the moment. I will fix our save file as soon as, uh, <laughs> as, soon as we're done testing this mod here. Because that was kind of a big oopsie on my part. All right. Let's go ahead and sabotage the tree. Now, let's go ahead and light the tree. That actually is kind of cool. 
Well, we sabotaged it. That's why I'm confused. Like, it was supposed to set on fire. Uh, no, get up. Vlad, get the hell out. He's like, oh, look, here's a bathroom. What? No. No. Do a rude introduction. Uh, Vladdy, get the hell out of my house. Vladdy! Ugh! This is still annoying. Alright, let me get a couple more trees. See if we can figure out how to set these on fire. One of these is ought to set on fire. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of his negative moodlets. We're just going to make him happy here. In case you don't know, this is uh, what I'm doing here is a part of the UI Cheats extension mod. Um, I have done a review on that, so definitely go and check that video out. Uh, light this tree, light this tree, and light this tree. Why is nothing still being lit on fire? Light it on fire! I never knew it was so hard to light your sims on fire anymore. I guess I'll let you guys uh, know when uh, we set it on fire. Alrighty guys, so it seems our uh, previous methods have not been working. So you know what I did? I bought some fireworks. Uh, go ahead and light this spark fountain. See that lets this, lights this place on fire. And it does! Look at that! We finally set this place on fire. So he was lit on fire at approximately 9.35. Oh yeah, it definitely spread a lot faster. That spread within 20 minutes this time around. It spread twice, three times within approximately half an hour. So yeah, I'm honestly terrified to know what the original is, or what Flavor 3 is like. Because Flavor 3 is like one minute and five minutes. And it, it spreads super fast. Let's see. We're still... he's, And it only took him about 45-ish minutes to die that time. Maybe about 40 minutes. So that is definitely uh, a bit intense. Um, oh yeah, and of course, we were still working on the janitors on the lot thing. So uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I think we'll have to re-download them. Uh, I put them back in this house uh, real quick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that spread very quickly. Uh, save... Oh, just exit to the main menu. And then we'll just go ahead and go right back in. And then we'll see if we can get a janitor on that lot. Um, we'll put a couple of things out there and see if we can... Uh, maybe also set uh, the... Uh, I just realized I could have just gone to a recovery of a save. Uh, just exit to the main menu. So let's go ahead and uh, recover a save. <laughs> Oops. Uh, we're going to load this game here. But we're going to recover the save. We're going to do this one. This one. Hmm. We'll try that one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and recover the save. Ah, there they are. All right, let's go ahead and play them. <laughs> let's go ahead and go to that lot, too, and see if we can set some stuff on fire. All right. Although we're not necessarily trying to see if we can light stuff on fire there, we're mostly just seeing if we can get the janitors to show up on the lots. Um, let's see. I know it seems like kind of like an odd one to combine with it, uh, but my thought process was that when you light stuff on fire, somebody needs to come and clean it. So that was my thought. So what does it say? The actual mod itself says, the description, this mod adds a janitor NPC to community lots similar to the ones in The Sims 1. They will do all the cleaning and repairing. Repairing is prioritized over cleaning. Useful, useful if you're like me, who often lets Sims spend days on community lots without leaving. Janitors are randomly chosen from unplayed, unemployed Sims in your game. The higher their handiness skill, the more likely they are to be chosen. If no Sims are eligible, random townies will be generated. They will work an 8 hour shift, 8 to 4 p.m., 4 to 12 p.m., or 12 to 8 a.m. 
So let's go ahead and uh, go to a lot and let's go ahead and make some stuff dirty. So let's go ahead and uh, head to a lot. See, I told you she would be back. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go to, um, I want to go to the solar flare. I mean, she doesn't really need to come with us, so. But we're going to see if there's some stuff we can break. And also set on fire. Yes. Set stuff on fire. Let's do this. Um, so let's see what also what time it is. Oh, it's 11.30. Perfect. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. So let's go ahead and make dirty, make dirty. We'll do this for both. There we go. We got some dirty stuff around here. Oh, let's get a Christmas tree up in, in here. And see if we can light some stuff on fire. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Okay, let's just type in tree. Oh, it's probably holiday tree or something like that. Just text for tree. Holiday tree. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I figured that was kind of probably part of the problem. There we go. Let's go ahead and sabotage this. I mean, we could not set it on fire last time. Yeah, why does it keep saying that the power has been shut off and we need to pay our bills? This is very interesting. All right, can we get a janitor here on the line? Oh, there she is. That is the janitor. Here we are. So we do have a janitor here. So let's see. Oh, yeah, she already cleaned this counter here. So yeah, this is definitely kind of nice. It's kind of nice to have a janitor here on the lot, although I kind of want to set the lot on fire. I'm going to see if there's a quick cheat real quick to see if we can set something on fire. I am back. There is, in fact, a cheat code. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if testing cheats has to be enabled. <gasps> yes, our sim is on fire. You can officially start. Oh my god, they lit them both on fire. Alrighty, well now you know. You can, in fact, have a fire on a community lot. You will, in fact, get janitors. And uh, your uh, animations can, in fact, change on the front screen. So if you liked this batch of mod reviews, definitely leave a like on this video. And uh, it definitely helps if you leave a comment as well. Um, that always... Uh, helps us out and I love chatting with you guys so if there's any other mods that you are interested in and in, in, interested in finding out uh, more information about how it works and that sort of thing definitely leave that down in the comments down below um, all my social media is in that description box including my twitch twitter and facebook page and as well if you like this video definitely don't forget to subscribe this way you can catch more videos just like this one and make sure you go follow me on my Twitch channel, because then you can always know when we're going live. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day, guys. Bye!